Alright, so let's talk about the voltage divider circuit. I got a voltage divider here which is basically two or more resistors in series that divide up the voltage. So that's exactly what it is. Alright, so to calculate what the actual voltage is divided up across each resistor, uh, you can use Ohm's Law. So we got to calculate the total resistance, which in series you just add them together. So it's 3 kilo ohms. And we know we got 12 volts supplied to the entire circuit. So uh, to calculate current, we need to take 12 volts divided by 3 kilo ohms. Twelve divided by three thousand ohms equals point zero zero four amps or four milliamps. So we got four milliamps flowing through that circuit. So in series, the current is the same through the entire circuit. Um, now we want to calculate the voltage drop across each one of these resistors. So the way you do that is using Ohm's law, and the way you calculate voltage is resistance times current. So your current draw through the resistor is 4 milliamps, and you take that times 1 kilo ohms to get your voltage drop. So there's your current draw, 4 milliamps times 1000 ohms equals 4 volts. So the 1 kilo ohms times your 4 milliamps equals 4 volts. And that's the same for each one of these because they're the same value and the same current draw through them. So they're each going to drop 4 volts. So another rule in a voltage divider circuit is if all your resistors equal the same value, then you just take the total voltage divided by the total number of resistors to get each resistor's voltage drop. So let's just test it out. I got 12 volts going to three 1 kilo ohm resistors down here. So the voltage drop is 4.01 volts. Alright so the way that so the way that so the way this would look is you got your meter going right there in parallel with that resistor your voltmeter and that voltmeter equals 4 volts so you might be thinking to yourself alright oh, I got a supply now of 4 volts here so if I have something that needs um, needs 4 volts supplied to it I just make a voltage divider circuit and then uh, and then just take a branch off of that point and you got 4 volt supply. Well it doesn't quite work that way. So let's say you put a load at this point where it currently has 4 volts and you got this load on here And that load, alright, so let's say that load is an 8 ohm resistor. It could be a DC motor that you want to put 4 volts to that um, comes out to be a 8 ohm resistance in circuit. So I'm going to put that 8 ohm resistor in parallel with that. Alright, and you see that the volts now across that is only 0 0.048. And the reason is you just re lowered the resistance of this by putting a, a load in parallel with that resistor. Um, so the total resistance of the circuit is going to drop. And then the current draw is actually going to go up. And your voltage drops across these resistors is going to go up. And then in turn that 
the voltage drop across that uh, that load is going to be less. So let's just use our math. So we got an 8 ohm in parallel with a 1 kilo ohm resistor. And that's what we're going to have to calculate in order to get the total resistance of this parallel circuit. So you take the reciprocal of 8 ohms plus the reciprocal of 1000 ohms. And then the reciprocal of the total. That makes it 7.94 ohms. So this total parallel circuit equals 7.94 ohms. So now we can take that and add it to the other resistors in series with it to get the total resistance of the circuit. And then to get the total current draw of the circuit we would uh, take the voltage divided by the total resistance of the circuit. So now we take 12 volts divided by total resistance which equals 5 milliamps. So we want to take that times, uh, times the resistance of this parallel circuit to see what the voltage drop is across that load. Alright so our ohms across that parallel load is this right here. Take that times our current. So there you go, 47 million meters reading 48, but has a little tolerance error. So when you're using a voltage divider circuit, you can't just put a load uh, across one of the resistors thinking that you'll have that voltage still across it because you won't because it changes the total resistance of the circuit and your voltage drops. So that's a voltage divider and another way you can and another way you can calculate the resistance uh, in a voltage divider is just doing percentages. So on this circuit I have a 22 ohm and a 270 ohm. Got my 12 volts DC positive and my negative. So here's a voltage divider with two different resistor values. Um, so let's just see what the uh, what the voltage drop is using percentages. So our total resistance in series is 292. Let's see what the 270 ohms is. It's 270 divided by 292 gives us our percentage of the resistance that this resistor has in the circuit. So 92%, 92.4% of the voltage is going to be dropped across that one resistor. So take that percentage times the total volts, which is 12 volts. So it should be 11.095 volts. So let's use Ohm's law. So total voltage so we need to calculate the current draw through that circuit, so that's voltage divided by total resistance. So our total voltage is 12 volts divided by 292 ohms equals our current draw. It's a series circuit, so the same current flows through that entire circuit. So 41 milliamps uh, through that resistor times the resistance will give us the voltage drop. 270 ohms. 11.095 so there you go it you can do the percentage of the total resistance or you can use Ohm's law and do the current draw and calculate the voltage drop that way